Greetings, my name is Josh Troshine and I'll be giving you an introduction and overview of SQL Map. SQL Map is an open source pen testing tool found either on your Backtrack 5 distro or at SourceForge. What this tool does is it automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws. As you can see on the slide here, it has a wide range of functionality. However, today we're going to focus on a pretty straightforward example of an, of an SQL injection vulnerability and then use SQL Map to detect it and then exploit it. According to OWASP Top 10 2010, injection flaws were number one, which includes SQL injection. These SQL injection flaws can lead to a wide variety of problems, from data loss or corruption to complete host takeover. For this demo, we're going to be working in a contained environment. I'm going to have a host machine with two VMs isolated um, on, off of my network. For the uh, target machine, we're going to be using a standard LAMP stack web server, so Ubuntu, PHP, MySQL, and Apache 2. For our offensive machine, it's going to be Backtrack 5 and then that SQL map that comes with it. For the vulnerable web application, we have a wide variety of, of opportunities or options out there. Uh, for this particular demo, I'm going to focus on using DVWA. You can find this vulnerable web app at dvwa.co.uk. Pretty easy to get and install. I download it, extract it to a web directory, and then the setup is pretty simple. All you really have to do is go into a config folder in one of the config files and put in information on how it needs to connect to your MySQL server. From there, log in to the DVWA web application at localhost slash DVWA or whatever directory you put that in. Uh, you can use admin password and then there will be some configuration options from there. It's pretty straightforward and we won't cover that in this presentation. One nuance with this setup and this demo is that in order to get into the, the vulnerable exercises in DVWA, we actually have to log into the application. What this means is that we need a PHP session ID or session token that's not only active, but it's also authenticated. And I'll show you that in actual hands-on demo. Once we get that, we're going to use SQL Map to leverage SQL injection vulnerability. We're going to find a URL that we think is, is vulnerable. We're going to test if it exists. If it does, we'll be able to enumerate database names, database tables, table columns, and then get data, ultimately. Before we begin, here you can just see the, a quick overview of the commands we'll be using. We can start with one which is the test for vulnerability, uh, sqlmap.py from a command line. Uh, this is a Python script. Giving it the dash u flag is our URL that we're going to be testing. The dash cookie, that's going to be where we put that session ID in. And then dash dash dbs is going to be enumerate the databases and the, data the database names on that server. From there, you can see the rest of the commands are just going to build one off of the other, and we'll cover those in the demo. Here again, you can see some of the, the flags that we're going to set and that will be important for this demo, just in case you want to come back and pause on the screen. Okay, now, now we'll move into the actual SQL map demo. As you can see, I'm logged into my Backtrack 5 VM. I've got a terminal open and I'm in the SQL map directory. Now you can see from here, there's where the SQL map.py script is, Python script is. Uh, you can get there a couple different ways. Probably the quickest and easiest is just to come to the terminal and then uh, cd into the pen test slash database slash SQL map directory. Uh, this isn't a global script, or at least I don't have it set up to be, so you have to be in this directory in order to execute it. You can also get there through going applications, backtrack, exploitation tools, database exploitation tools, and then any one of these MS, SQL, MySQL, and Oracle will have a link. And all that does is just opens a terminal and drops you into that directory. I've also got Burp Suite set up and we'll be using this in conjunction with Firefox as a proxy to intercept the requests. And we're going to use this a little bit in just a few seconds to get that session ID or that session token that I mentioned earlier. Uh, we can also use it to grab the URL after we discover what that vulnerable URL is. And then I have Firefox open. Uh, you navigate, there's the host that I have it set up on, uh, slash DVWA. If you've got everything set up right so that the application is actually talking to your database server on that target machine, you get this login script. If not, you'll get an error just saying it can't connect. You'll have to take a look at that config file and make sure you got that set up correctly. Um, I've already logged in. Once you log in, if this is the first time you've been into this particular app, uh, you can run the setup. That'll dump the uh, schema and get the database set up. Also, uh, for this, this demo, we're going to look at the DVWA security here as soon as it, it loads. Uh, we can see here burp uh, the proxy was, was set on so one thing that with burp you can have is if the, the proxy is running and it's actually intercepting then it's going to grab that request before uh, it gets submitted to the server so I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off and now that page loads uh, so here we can see that security 
want to keep that set to low and submit. And this just kind of tweaks how this application, the security level, and how much challenging it is. We're not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, the next thing is to find that SQL injection. Well, since this is a vulnerable application, it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll just go right to the SQL injection tab. There's an input box with a submit, so odds are this is where it is. An easy way to test for that is just to give, uh, pass along the single quote. So I'm just going to do an A with a single quote and submit. Here we can see that we get um, somewhat of a verbose error message saying, yes, you did have the wrong syntax. So we know that that's this URL right here is vulnerable to SQL injection. And in particular, we know that it's this parameter right here because of this value. Moving back now to burp, if we go to the target tab, uh, we can ignore the rest of these. And I'll just delete those to clean this up a little bit. Here's the host where that DVWA was running on. So navigating through that, looking back, if we want here, we can see DVWA slash vulnerabilities slash SQLI. So we've already got DVWA, move to vulnerabilities, SQLI, and we can see here, there's the request. If we want to get the URL, we can just copy it from here uh, to show you that, uh, what it did. Um, you can see they're the same thing. The other thing that we need here is from our request, we're going to get these cookies. So security equals low, but the most important thing is we've got this PHP session ID equals and then this long string. The important thing to have is that the session ID is active and it's authenticated. So with this information now, we have the cookies that we need for this particular uh, web application and we have the URL. And this is really the most important thing is a URL that we think has an SQL injection vulnerability. I'm going to just clear this stuff out of the way. All right, so now we can move to SQL map. Uh, I went ahead and already got this command loaded just to help save a little bit of time in this demo. As you can see, we're going to do a dot forward slash SQL map to execute the script, dash u, and then in double quotes, send it the URL exactly as we either got it from our Firefox URL bar or from burp, uh, dash dash cookie, security equals low, PHP session ID equals that active and authenticated session and then dash dash dbs. Now in case I'm going to just fudge this session ID, uh, in case you do that and then run this, first of all you'll know that if it's able to get, uh, you'll get some sort of error message here. you got a 302 redirect. Well what's that saying is the session ID that I just gave it isn't authenticated. So it's trying to redirect you to a login and it's going to ask you if you want to follow from now on or stay on the original page. Well that's not the vulnerable URL that we think it is, so um, we don't want to follow redirects. It's still going to try to do some testing, so we'll just have to wait for it. It'll only take a few seconds here, and by the time it's done, we'll see that we didn't get any results. So, go back to that command now. Okay, uh, so now that we saw what that happens, let's go back and we'll fix that session ID, and now we'll submit that URL and see what SQL map comes up with. All right, you know if you're getting all this testing information that it was able to connect. Uh, and here we can see it's already determined that the get parameter ID, which we saw already, is vulnerable. Uh, we can keep testing for others or we can just start to exploit this. Well, we don't really want to test for others um, because we've already found one. So I'm going to say no, continue. And now SQL map returns this result. So you can see here that found four databases, DVWA, Information Schema, MySQL, and PHP MyAdmin. Since we're targeting DVWA, I'm going to use that database for the next step of this SQL map demo. And that's going to be to enumerate those, um, the table names inside that database. So for the next flags, we're going to use dash D, DVWA, and then dash dash tables. And there we go. Here's our output, two tables, guest book and user. So in this case, I'm going to say that users is probably the most interesting table that I could be looking at. So we're going to just build off of the command we previously executed by adding a dash T flag with users as my um, parameter or my uh, value and then dash dash columns. 
and now we've got back not only the column names but also the the, the bar chart 7 the, the different types that those columns are so um, we can see here we've got passwords first name last name user user ID uh, a lot of information that you wouldn't want somebody to be able to get at so now building off that last that last command we ran all we need to do now is add the dash dash dump and we'll be able to get um, one thing with SQL map it does have some uh, password cracking capabilities uh, you can see here it says that it recognized possible password hash values do you want to use a dictionary attack on retrieve table items uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes just for this demo because it would be interesting um, what's the dictionary location uh, I haven't actually put one in here so this is just going to be the default that comes with SQL map and do we want to use the common for the the sake of this demo we're going to say no now, as you can see now as it's going through there it actually was able to find looks like four of the five passwords uh, so starting a dictionary attack of md5 generic password so it found those four and then it also dumped that table so we've got everything the first name last name username password id everything uh, so here you can see from this demo we went from finding an sql injection vulnerability to having username and passwords in a relatively short amount of time one other thing now that we've we've accomplished what we was set out to uh, we can go into listing out the directory here you can see there's an output directory so as SQL map runs these commands it creates a session for us and then provides us with uh, dumps logs and sessions so moving into let's say we go into that dump folder uh, DWA and then users that CSV there we have everything that we just dumped so um, that wraps up this uh, this de demonstration and I hope you enjoyed it